part three, we are going to continue with the relationship between natural numbers. You will find this on page five in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at an example. From the list of numbers, this the list, write down a multiple of seven. So what you can do is you can first write down the multiples of seven. Seven, 14, 21. And now search which one is there. There, 21. So I will say the multiples of seven will be seven. So 21 is on the list. Okay, number B, a square. Now what is square numbers? That's 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81. And again, which one is on the list? 81. So that's the square number. Prime numbers. Now write a few parts. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. And again, which one is on the list? 2. Factors of 15. Now first write down the factors of 15. That's 1 and 15, 3 and 5. And which one is on the list? 15. Okay, the next one. Prime factor of 39. So first write down the prime factors of 39. That's 3 and 13. And which one is on the list? 13 is on the list. Then cube numbers. What will cube numbers be? 1, 8, 27. And which one is on the list? 8. And then the highest common factor of 12 and 18. So basically, find the highest common factor of 12 and 18. Make use of all the factors of 12, all the factors of 18. The highest one is 6, and that's also on the list. And then the last one, the lowest common multiple of 8 and 12. So if I look at the lowest common multiple of 8 and 12, write down the multiples of 8, write down the multiples of 12, the lowest common one, that will be 24. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do, try now two, number A, B, as well as C. Okay, let's continue. Try now two. Write 130 as the product of its prime factors. So take 130 and start with your little blocks. Now remember, the prime numbers is the divisors. And what is the prime numbers? That's 2, that's 3, that's 5, that's 7, that's 11, and so on. Okay, so continue. Start with 2, and that will be 65. And then go on. 2 cannot go. 3 cannot, because 6 plus 5 is 11. It's not divisible. But move on to 5. And 5 go in 13, and 13, because that will be 13, the next one. It's a prime number. So the product of its prime numbers will be 2 times 5 times 13. And then number C, okay, number B, we almost skipped. So this was A, and now B. Find the highest common factor of 35 and 42. So 35 and 42. Remember? It's the highest common factor. So I make use of factors. Now what is the factors of 35? 1, 35. 2 can no not go. 3 can also not, but 5 can. And 5 can go in how many times? 7. And that is the factors of 35. And 42, start with 1 and 42. Then continue. 2 can, there's an even number at the end. So 2 can, and that's 21. Can 3 go? 4 plus 2 is 6. Yes, 3 can. And 42 divided by 3, that will be 14. Um, can 4 go? No. Can 6 go? Yes. And how many times can 6 go? 7. And remember the highest common one. So 1 is common, but it looks like the highest common one so the highest common factor will be equal to 7. And then the last one, the final, find the lowest common multiple of 8 and 12. So basically just go and write it down. Okay, this is the lowest common multiple. So I'm going to make use of multiples. 
So it's 8 and 12. And then I'm just going to write the multiples of 8. That will be 8, 16, 24, 32. Sometimes you stop and you start with this one. And if there's still nothing, you continue the top one. But this one is 12, 24, 36. And can you see the lowest? I can already see that 24 is the lowest common one. So the lowest common multiple will be 24. That's of 8 and 12.